It is a chilly night here in the northeastern U.S., but we've got some football to keep us warm at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with the Buffalo Bills. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Newton on first down. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. It's a pickup of six. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory. And that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. And again, this Buffalo defense there and run support to stop him behind the line. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. The shotgun snap for Newton. Over the middle, it's Thomas. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. They'll run for the first time with Sony Michelle. Tremaine Edmonds, the Bills' leading tackler in 2019, in on the stop. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Back to throw, Newton. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Out of the gun, Newton. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. James White with a good catch and picks up a first down out of the backfield. He's been such a weapon for this New England offense. Over 300 catches in the last five seasons, including 72 in 2019. Still wondering where his Super Bowl MVP trophy is after the big game against Atlanta and that huge comeback. I would expect to see a heavier reliance on him this year as they transition to a new era without TB12. They'll contain him to just four, second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. So that'll back them up five. Throwing again is Newton. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Take over first and 10 at their own 40-yard line. 
So after the INT, it's Allen sliding out of the pocket. He'll try and run it. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive gain. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. He's going to take off with it. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. What I enjoyed most about watching Devin Singletary as a rookie, and he had a nice campaign, 775 yards on the ground and a rushing average in the top five in the league last year, is that what I saw in college transferred to the NFL. Continued to make the first tackler miss, whether he was in the hole or on the perimeter. I expect him to get to 1,000 yards rushing this season. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sent back at the 38. John Simon that time coming through to make the play. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Now the first carry for Zach Moss. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots' D on third down. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Intercepted. Now following the interception, here's Newton. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Demir Bird, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like he rifles one that's intercepted. It's A.J. Klein, the linebacker. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. At the Patriots' 14-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now Allen going to give it to Moss. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Adam Butler there. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. to throw on third and one. This is caught. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Set him back five yards. Let's go. 
The delay of game, a costly one, as they're backed up five for first and goal. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. From the gun, it's Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. He's down inside the 10 to the 8, and it comes on a gain of 8. Nice gain of 8 that time, and it's second and goal. The Patriots' 8-yard line. the ground it's Singletary and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven only a yard there and that'll bring us to third and goal partner I know we're in a goal to go situation but my goodness think about running the ball here not even a thought is yeah, it defensively they're in a prime spot and I think defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well I would run it here guys you might want to try throwing it Allen now on third and goal on the move to his left. He may try and run for this. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it. He puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rounding, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will take a 3-0 lead. A good drive gets him inside the 5, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. New England trying to get a place on offense. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. The ball carrier. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was filmed also by the defense. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun, here's Newton. That's complete to his running back, Taylor. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Taylor. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he will not get there as they stop him short right around the 34-yard line. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Fourth and short, partner. I mean, this would be a really risky call. Here we are in the first quarter. On They're your own side of the own field. Own side of the field. But boy, what a tone setter that would be to go for and get it, wouldn't it? You're gritty today. I like it. I'm feeling it. And yeah, the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. 
And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 26. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, and hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Bills three, Patriots nothing. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's Singletary, and give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? On second down and four, Allen. Oh, the rookie nearly had the pick. Probably should have had it. Third down now. The name of the game is always on defense. Put pressure on the quarterback. And that's exactly what they've done today. It looks like they've got him a little bit rattled. That would have been the second interception in the first half. The Bills on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and four. Operating from the gun. Allen. He gets it to Brown. Complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Allen finding Brown for a Bills first down. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now a run with Singletary, and he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll run here with Singletary. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They will run with Singletary. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves him needing about seven here on third down. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Throwing his Allen on third. 
being chased out left. Diving for the end zone, and the ball's knocked out. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. Thankfully for the offense, a fortuitous bounce there on the fumble goes out of bounds because they're down here in the red zone. You don't want to lose one there. You don't want to lose one, and the best part, because it went out of bounds, they retain possession, still have an opportunity to put points on the board. They'll look to run with Singletary. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Call it a loss of six on the play. And that'll bring up a second and goal. At the six-yard line. Again, it'll be Singletary. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. He was Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think the second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Now Allen going to throw on third and goal. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And they get the football, but not much on the return here as he stopped at the seven-yard line. They start to drive with White. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the nine-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Here we go. And they will not get the snap off here. This is going to back them up halfway. They were already backed up. Now they're backed up further. I think they were being so careful to make sure all assignments were covered that they ended up running themselves out of time. Following the penalty, Michelle, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss there, now third and 14. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get his running game going. New England on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and 14. On the ground, Michelle, and this one will be taken up. They'll spot it right at the seven. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought the punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys will get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field and to come away with nothing. Nothing. That's difficult for a team to handle. Yeah, difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Cole Beasley, the intended target, and it's third down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. The Bills on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and eight. Now Allen. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. 
And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Well, that play really didn't fool him. They completed the screen pass, but for lost yardage, a really nice play by the defense. On fourth down, on is Corey Bajorquez to punt. Back deep for the Patriots, Gunnar Olszewski. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic. Meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. Second and 10 on a chilly, snowy December day. And I must say, I'm loving it. Kind of putting me in the holiday spirit. Charles, Charles hates it. And he's giving me the evil eye, folks. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. 43-yard line. From the gun, Newton. That'll be taken in by Demir Bird. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Back to back, nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. First down, here's White. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Taken down at the Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. From the 41, Newton. And he's going to have the hook up here with Harry. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Great change up there on the route, and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. Well, the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside. Make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him, and the inside half, and he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. here by Bird, and he's going to have a first down on a gain of about 10 and that'll take us to the two minute warning a nice pick up there 10 yards and it'll move the sticks first and 10 at the 18 yard line the Patriots into the red zone for the first time they have a first and 10 at the 18 Newton throwing again Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Ryan Izzo, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Throwing again, Newton. Floating one incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and 10. Again, Newton. 
Open man is Myers. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. A 31-yard attempt. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And that will tie us at 3-3. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, Kobe, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? the kick is away here's the all pro returner from 2018 Andre Roberts and a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line Buffalo set to get the football back here and they're coming off a three and out my friend I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving okay so how do you do that how do you shake things up you look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so someone well, else. and maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. First down, Buffalo. First down now, but that clock rolling. Operating from the gun, Allen. It's complete to Brown, right side. Complete to John. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. Here's second and five now from the 37. From the gun, Allen. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. He may try and run for this. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. A good decision in the end. The pull and run gets him nine yards and a first. He really looked comfortable there, scanning the situation, analyzing things, feeling the pressure, and then stepping up right through the middle and sprinting for a first down. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Rolling to his... And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. It's the former Michigan man, Chase Winovich, who gets in there to bring him down. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. He made his first, this from 47 yards out. 
And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. So if you like field goals, this is your game. 6-3, three, three field goals at the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Out come the Bills now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen going deep for Diggs. Got a man. It's caught at the six-yard line. And he's got this way down inside of New England's 10-yard line. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. A kicker fest so far. All points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. They run here with Singletary. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Touchdown, A five-yard touchdown run. And the Bills will add on to their lead. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. They trail by 10, 13-3 as they come up on a first and 10. Thomas, and he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. 13 yards remaining on second down. Check, 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 check. Six guys. Out of the gun, Newton. He completes it right side to White. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. 
Just a loss of a yard there, but it's not going to help. Now they face a third and 14. I don't know how well our microphones are picking it up for those of you at home, but uh, Charles, you and I can hear it. A lot of groans right now coming from this crowd. I don't know if we're picking up what's happening in the stadium or from the people who are supporting this team at home because it's coming through loud and clear to you and me. This offense, they've been stuck in neutral much of the game. And on that last play, they actually went in reverse. I think this crowd would have liked neutral, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> neutral would have strongly been preferred. They'll take anything positive at this point. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Here now Roberts. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And the Bills getting set to go. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. He was brought down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Short throw hauled in by Croft. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Now Allen to throw on third down. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz. And even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Patriots take over. The Patriots ready to get the football back. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. On first down, it's Newton. And on the connection, this is Ryan Izzo complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. On first and 10, Newton. On the left side, a catch by White. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 31. Newton, and look at this, Cam Newton intercepted a third time. The all-pro corner, Tredavious White picks it off. And he will take this all the way up past the 40-yard line. First and 10 at their own 42-yard line. Singletary to get the drive started. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. 
There to stop him, Jawan Bentley. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. The left side caught by Diggs. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. He'll buy some time right. They'll roll him out right. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short game when he took off running. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? Surprised at all that they went with a fullback there? Not at all because it harkened back to the days where we watched these games almost in black and white, right? The stocky guy, the strong guy, the powerful guy with leg drive. Give him the football, and even if the blocking isn't perfect, he has the ability to scatter bodies and move people enough to pick up first downs. That's what we just saw right there. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. touchdown Buffalo. Devin Singletary, his second touchdown of the night. And the Bills will extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this carries into the end zone. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. And now out come the Patriots. And the interception last time on the opponent's side of the field, certainly not what they wanted. Put it mildly, that is so frustrating because that signifies there's a drive going on. You're in good spot. Great place to run some of your best offense. Instead, they turned the ball over. Yeah, turned the ball over last time. 
See if they can avoid doing it here. A nice burst there as they'll get about seven that time on the first down run. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. A shotgun snap for Newton. Over the middle, he's got Myers. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe it'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. From the gun, here's Newton. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. The hit comes late. We saw it. There's your flag. And we know that there's a guideline, right? Ball's gone. You get one step. If you're within one step of the quarterback, you can hit him as long as it's still done legally. But anything outside of that looks like an extra step was involved. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Operating from the gun. Newton, he'll get this into the hands of Bird. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Nikhil Harry was the intended target, but it's going to be second down. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again, Newton. And he's going to have the hook up to Izzo. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do? You got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. Newton looking to throw on third and one. And that is incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. As you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. Now to return it. 
and able to get this out to the 25. And now out come the Bills. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. On second down now, Singletary. Seven yards there and a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Allen with a throw caught by Beasley. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. It's Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. From the gun, it's Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. On first down, Allen. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. That catch good for only a couple. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Now Allen again. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. The Bills on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. This will be third and five. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked by the rookie Kyle Duggar. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Newton and the Patriots with a first and 10 at their own 44. He's back to throw here to start the drive. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Doesn't look to be any confusion here as they come up now on a second and six following the delay of game. Now it's Newton. Throw caught here by Bird. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Now Newton on first down. 
And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Throwing again. Newton. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Intended for Demir Bird. For Davies White on the coverage. New England on third down. They've converted three times in eight chances. This is third and ten. Throwing again is Newton. The pass complete. It's Bird. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 14 yards is the pickup there on a New England first down. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. Give him six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. To the air again, Newton. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Four yards the pickup, first down. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll run with Michelle. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak, not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Right there, 54, right there. Right there. Try to pound it in here with Michelle. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Michelle going to try again. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. Sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. So now, fourth and goal. You're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. Here we go on four. Newton. And oh, it'll be intercepted. The all-pro corner, Tredavious White picks it off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 20-yard line. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. 
You got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. They go right back to Singletary. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. At the 33-yard line. A four-yard pickup on the play. First down, Buffalo. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. That's the reason we ball for. Circle round twice for the encore. You know, you know. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. On the ground, it's Singletary. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Game in hand, the offense takes the knee. Second down, Singletary, and he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. There on the tackle, Charles. Why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? The miracle at the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills, and they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now... It's about taking the ball away, taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory.
So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From Foxborough, good night, everybody.